this is a quiz session this is a quiz session so who will uh, have the answer you can like uh, uh, raise your hand and start the answer fine so so my first question is application of buffer yes no application of buffer applications of buffer buffer the buffer is used in uh, static timing analysis yeah. For what it is used? For setting. Yeah. Yeah. For what application? What is the application? In order to set the desired uh, uh, setup time and hold time in static timing analysis, we use buffer. Yeah. So, eliminate the closed, uh, closed talks and the uh, like delays and all right so basically it it helps with the setup time and hold time correction right so just go through it once from internet right i will not discuss whole the answer here because this is a limited time session right 40 minute sessions only right? and i have can i write this questions right sir can i write this yeah you can ask yeah you can tell can i write this no no writing time is not there we will give the recording. We will give it. Uh, why most of the interrupts are active low? Why most of the interrupts are active low? Why most of the interrupts are active low? Okay, no answer. You can, can guess you repeat the question. Answer. Why? Why? Why all most the of the? Why? Why all the interrupts? Interrupts. You know, no. Are mostly active low. Oh. So you don't know the answer? Okay, we're going to the next question. Tell me the difference between latch and flop. Sir, uh, latch is a level trigger, flip flop is an edge trigger. In latch, we don't require memory. In flip flop, we require memory. And, uh, yeah, Ashok, you want to say something? Latch, yeah. latch is more prone to noise. Flip flop is less prone to noise. Ashok? La latch, we have a drawback that is the case out of condition. So that's why we go to flip flops. In flip flop, we eliminate the race out of condition. Okay, that's right. Okay, but these are not the proper answer. Just Google it once. Right? You know the answer, right? I know you. We have teased you everything, right? So, but you are not able to no. uh, remember it, right? At least five. It should be like that. First, uh, first uh, difference is this. Second difference is this. Fourth difference is this. You are telling one or two points. It is not sufficient. Enter will be not convinced here, right? So just go through it once. Uh, my next question is advantage of R to R ladder DAC uh, as compared to the uh, binary weighted DAC. Advantage of R to R ladder DAC over uh, over binary weighted DAC. In R to R, we use only uh, two types of register from in binary. We use different uh, combination of registers, so that's why we easily um, use the R to R that. Okay, okay, this answer is correct actually. This answer is correct. So, going to the next question the number of unused state in 4 bit Johnson counter. It is very simple question. Unused state, number of unused states in Johnson counter, 3 bit, 3 bit Johnson counter. Mm -hmm. 2 power n minus 2 n. No, this is not the uh, Is it 2 power n minus 2 n? Not used state, I am asking you unused state. Okay, uh, so the total number of state is 2 key power n. Uh, and 
for the Johnson counter use status 2n. So if you is to formula will be 2 key power n minus 2n. So answer will be 2, 2 key power 3 minus 6, which is 2. Unused state is 2. Simple. Okay, going to the next question. Uh, what do you mean by universal gate? This is zero level question. Just answer it. Universal gate. Gate with which we can implement any other gate and uh, uh, combination uh, Boolean expression is universal. Ashok, here tell me. Ashok, same answer? Mux yes. yeah. is universal or not? Mux is universal circuit or not? Yes, Mux. Mux. By Mux using Mux, we also see pull the all gates. Okay, 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 fine. So tell me one disadvantage of SR flip flop. SR flip flop. One disadvantage of SR flip flop as compared to the JK flip flop. S equals to R equals to one case invalid. Invalid, yeah. Correct answer. Okay, tell me one disadvantage of JK flip flop. Uh, we have race around condition in JK latch. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, so, okay, tell me about race around condition. What is the race around condition? If the interval asks you this question, how you will answer? Uncontrolled toggling of Q. And what is, is the condition? What is the condition bro, for the race around condition? What it happens in J equals to K yeah. equals to one case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because of the output will take place. Mm -hmm. uh, race around condition is happening because of the propagation delay that is provided by the logic gates. So because of this condition, when toggling of the output is happening, it happens uncontrolled. Let us say if the input output is zero. And it will not, the toggling will not take place directly from 0 to 1. Uh, from It will continuously oscillate in between 0 and 1. This is said to be the race around condition. So in order to overcome it, uh, we need to make sure that the propagation delay that is provided by the logic gate should be as much less as possible. Or else we can use the master slave configuration. Or else instead of using a latch, we should use a flip-flop. Okay. Uh, now, yes. Tarun will tell me the, what do you mean by setup time and hold time? Setup time and then hold time. So you can pass if you don't know the answer. But we have already teased you these things. Okay. Tarun. Uh, sorry, Teja, Teja, you can answer. Uh, setup time and hold time, uh, Ashok. The minimum, the minimum amount of time before the occurrence of the clock edge for which the data should be stable is called a setup time and the minimum amount of time after the occurrence of the clock edge that the data should be stable is called as hold time. Okay. Ashok, you want to add something? My answer also is clear, sir. Okay. Uh, it's... What do you mean by self-dwell expression? Self-dwell expression. This is also simple. One is dwell and one is self dwell. So how? What do you mean by it? If the dual of the function itself is equal to the function, then it is called as a self dual function. Okay. So you you want to write something and show, sir? You want to explain with the written explanation? Okay, Tarun, you want to answer? Uh, expression and self-dual expression. Uh, Example, I don't remember. Ashok, you want to tell? Well, expression and self-dual expression. Okay, you just go through it then. Um, so there is one term. Content addressable memory. Content addressable memory. So you know about it is part of computer architecture. So this question is from computer architecture. Content C A M. Content addressable memory. So you have gone through it. You know about it? Yes, sir. Ashok, you know about content yes. addressable memory? Yes. Yeah, tell me what is it? I, I don't know. Okay, you don't know. Teja, you know? 
no sir. okay fine i don't know so uh, application of mux application of multiplexer mm. Mm. multiplexer used in is used in communication systems and also it can be used as a universal gate for the application of several boolean functions but uh, data communication also it can be in routing signal routing also and some other applications are also there so just write down this question and I'll just go through yeah. it so, ALU selection also we use multiplexer what ALU selection also we use the multiplexer ALU 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 selection also we use the multiplexer uh, I am saying application of multiplexer. Mux, Mux. There's Remux and Mux no? in digital electronics. Mm -hmm. da data routing. Data transfer. Yeah, that is there. But there is like through Mux, Mux is a universal circuit. You can implement other circuits also through the Mux. That is one application. Right? Hmm? Data communication is obviously there. Yes. Yeah. So I just know. write down this question and uh, yes. this. yeah, Tharun, you want to say something? Yeah, I do. You have gone through the digital electronics or not? Yes, sir. Not coming. Okay. Mm, tell me the difference between synchronous and asynchronous counter. Synchronous and asynchronous counter. But in case of synchronous counter, the same clock is used for all the flip flops. Whereas in case of asynchronous counter, the output of one flip flop is used as the clock for the next flip flop. Same asynchronous means we use two clocks, like reset and clock. Both are working. In synchronous, the we use the enable signal as clock only. So you just have to explain this question through the writing a diagram, right? So make a proper diagram. Uh, if possible, you can take two minutes right now. Or uh, you want to make a diagram? Ashok, you can make the diagram. Yes, sir. I can. Yeah. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, I will talk to the Tharun. Uh, uh, Tharun, what is the advantage of digital signal? What is the advantage of digital signal? Uh, we, can, we only need zeros and ones for that. What? We only need zeros and ones for that. Yeah, but I advantage. I'm asking advantage. Awesome. Okay, tell me uh, one application of K map. Application of K map. You have you know about K map, no? To, de to, sir, to decrease the Boolean expression. All right, clearly, speak clearly. You can repeat what are you saying? Large number of some. Yeah, by this way you will not be able to get the interview. If you need time, you can take the time. But sit in the interview with the preparation at least. If you are coming without zero, without reading anything, you are only wasting your time, our time also. Right. Just go through the things, at least revise the things, right? I have given you the time for revision. Sir, so yeah. Top one is synchronous and the bottom one is asynchronous. Yeah, so what is the major difference? Uh, sir, in case of asynchronous uh, counter, toggling will be taking place in the flip-flop and the output of one flip-flop will be used as a clock for the next flip-flop. Whereas in synchronous, uh, the same clock will be used for all the mm -hmm. flip-flops. Okay. Okay. Um, the... Okay, uh, yeah. Ashok, tell me, you have made it? You have made that question? Yes, sir. Yeah, show me. 
Sir, this is synchronous or hmm. we get the reset is high, but uh, we get the positive just left side, but output changes only at positive only. Okay. Reset is high before the positive, but output is re changes at positive only. But in this case, means output is changes at reset high. Whenever reset is high. That is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous. Okay. Okay. Mm. So in the interview, you have a proper explanation, right? By diagram, by a proper diagram and all, right? So just go through it to this question also. Uh, I am coming to the next question now. Mm. Lo which logic gate is a co co coincident detector and why it is called coincident detector? One gate is there which is uh, called a coincidence detector and why it is called coincidence. X no here. Uh, third, Tija, you know coincidence detector? Um, no, sir. No. It is used for the detection detector here. It is used as a coincidence detector. X no gate is a coincidence detector. Because it will be yes, given true condition when both the inputs are same. Uh, when 0, 0 is uh, both the inputs are same, right? It will be or even number of uh, uh, conditions are same, inputs are same, and it will be given uh, uh, like 1. Otherwise, if you will give a 0, right? This is a, this is a 0 level question. Yeah? So, yes. uh, so, what is the um, Overflow condition in binary addition. Overflow condition in binary addition. When the sum is greater than nine, that is the overflow condition. Mm. Just go through this question. In this case, we need... uh, over condition in binary expression, you can go through this question. This is not a, not a proper answer. Mm. Uh, what is prime prime implement implement imp, um, implement and the initial prime implement in KMAP? The largest possible grouping of ones is called as prime implicant, and any legal grouping of ones is called as uh, implicant. Okay. Uh, application hmm. of comparator. Application of comparator in digital electronics. What is the application of some of the application of competitors? So, Arun, you want to leave the meeting or you want to stay? Okay. Uh, uh, Guna, just turn on the camera. Guna, turn on the camera first. If you want to stay in the meeting, just turn on the camera. Otherwise, I will remove you. Yeah. So, Tarun, what was my other question? Application of comparator. Yeah, tell me application of comparator. Ashok, you want to tell? No, sir. In ADC converters, how do we use the comparator? <laughs> Basically, it is used for comparison. Yeah. Let's go write down this question and just go Google it. Right? Mm -hmm. My next question is what is the disadvantage of one's complement circuit? Uh, and how we can overcome this uh, disadvantage? One's complement circuit. Like you have gone through the one's and two's complement now. So that, that disadvantage. The now. disadvantage with one's the disadvantage with one's complement representation is that zero has two representation, plus zero has one representation and minus zero has another representation. We can overcome this disadvantage by moving to two's complement representation. Also, if the carry is present, we have to do an additional, additional work, right? So if the uh, carry is there, so in the addition, we have to just, uh, uh, LHB, LHB should be added in the result, right? So that we can get the correct result. That is other disadvantage. So, yeah, this is correct. 
So, what is the serial to a parallel converter circuit, and why why we need to need a serial to parallel convert converter? What is the need of serial to parallel converter basically? Uh, sir, in case of uh, sir, can you please repeat the question? What is the application? Uh, why we need a uh, pal serial to parallel converter? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want to transfer the data in serial, like protocols, please. Yeah, you are saying right it. You are saying right. Just take your time and yeah. You are saying it, it is right. If you, if you want to get out, get them, then Do not turn on the camera, otherwise I will remove you. Turn on the camera. I will not say it again and again. For that. In ERT protocol, we send the data in serial. Hmm. Right. Just write down this question right. and go through it once. See, transmission speed can be is more in the parallel, right? As compared to serial, right? So if yes. I want to transmit my data from one place to another place, so should I send it parallelly or serially, right? That this way you have to think, right? Uh, this question may be not be answered in the interview, but this question will open your mind, right? These are not commonly asked questions, right? But these things will be open your mind. You, it will, you can think more and more, right? Okay, uh, next question is common. Uh, difference between combination and sequential circuit. Guna, you want to answer? Yes, sir. Yeah, tell me. Uh, in the combinational circuit, the output depends upon only the uh, present inputs, uh, but in the uh, sequential circuit, the output depends upon uh, present inputs and past outputs also. Hmm. This is one second. In combinational combinational circuit it doesn't require any memory. In sequential circuit will require memory. Hmm. One more. In combinational circuit, we don't use the clock. In sequential, we use the clock. One more feedback. Feedback. Example. In combination uh, with feedback. In circuit, we need feedback. In combination circuit, we don't need any feedback. Example. Example you can also give. So you have five, five points now. If you are giving one or two points, that oh. is maybe not sufficient. Let's say you are able to not answer the thing one question properly. How you will compensate? So, what another answer you can answer in such a way that it can be compensated, right? So, whatever you know, just tell it properly. Like, first difference is this, second difference is this, third is fourth is it. They will get to know you are you have the clear with your concept. If you are telling one or two con two circuit that will be not sufficient, you can make a diagram also in the interview, right? Okay. Uh, what do you mean by ledge? What do you mean by ledge? Large is a one bit storage element. We can store either one or zero, but maybe it's bigger element as well. Basically, it is one bit memory, and second is close coupled connection of logic gate to store one bit or one or zero at a time, right? And it can be of two types. You have to make a diagram also, and it can be of two types. One is active, active high, and another is active low. Fine. So, like that, you have to properly tell. Make a diagram, whatever you know, make a diagram that will create the impact in the intro. Fine. Uh, which logic memory have the best figure of merit and why? First, tell me the figure of merit. What is figure of merit? Then, which, which logic memory have the best figure of merit and why? Figure of parity, you know, your formula, you can tell me. Uh, Guna, you want to tell figure of parity? 
No, sir, I don't know. Ashok, you want to tell? It is a product of a uh, delay and the uh, power power dissipation, right? So best figure of merit is uh, I I L uh, logic family, which have the highest figure of merit, which is of uh, 0.1 to 0.7 PJ, right? So just go through it once, right? Go through this question. Uh, they may not be asked in the interview, but it can be asked in the test also, right? So these questions are important. Hmm. Which logic family has the lowest power dissipation and why? This is very simple question and it will be asked in the interview. TDL? No, no. Uh, Tria, you want to answer? No, sir, I don't know. CMOS, yeah. This is very common thing. CMOS and why? And why you have to tell? CMOS have the lowest power power and just you have to write why. Just Google it and make a proper answer. Right. Uh, now going to the next question. What do you mean by noise margin? Noise margin. Noise margin. Okay, you don't know. Anyone? So, Guna, Ashok, Teja? Okay, going to the next question. Uh, what is a uh, hooking problem? H O G G I N G. Hooking problem. And in which which fam logic family it occurs? And how it, we can avoid this hooking problem? There is one hooking problem. H O G G I N G. Tell me fast. If you know, just tell it. Otherwise, we can go to the next question. Only 10 minutes are left. Okay. Uh, you have to write work, work on the... Teja, you was prepared for the digital and you are not able to answer this thing. It is not like that we will ask the commonly called ask questions only, right? We will cover the entire digital electronics. Right? It can be logic, it's also, it can be other. Hmm. Okay. Going to the next question. Uh, one application of... Uh, of Octal octal number system. Application of octal number system. Octal In Unix comments, we use the Unix comments are the we use the octal number system. So file, open, read, write. What is the advantage you can tell at least? It. Octal number system. We use data length is High compared to the binary number system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is little little bit fine, but just Google it so that you can able to answer properly in the interview. Uh, my next question is application of counters. This is simple. Clock digital clock RCA. Yeah, just answer it. Teja, you can answer. Application of counters. There are so many applications. Sir, even in communication systems, counters will be used along with the uh, multiplex, uh, multiplexer, demultiplexer, and a counter. These three there are used some, in communication mm, systems. Suppose you are telling communication system where it is used. P, uh, there's PWM, right? Pulse, pulse width modu modulation, right? There we used uh, this uh, counters and all, right? So you have to tell the where we are using in communication, right? Analog to digital converter, we are also using some frequency divider, yes, we are also using. So we have to tell the application name, not to you. We are digital electronics, not the subject name, right? So, so just go through this question also. Um, my next question is, uh, what is ring counter and application of ring counter? Ring counter, why we use a ring counter? One application, what is it? One advantage and applications you can tell. Tell me first, ring counter. You don't know, Teja, uh, Akshok, Guna, advantage of ring counter. Yeah, kuch to bolo yaar. Ek to circuit kam use hota hai, circuit use kam hota hai, fastest hai. Three, three. 
frequency division application in frequency division so we also use the ring counter in sequence also counter sequence also use hai ya ग्लिच Tell me fast. Uh, a temporary disturbance in the output of a digital circuit that gets sorted out by itself. A temporary disturbance. Okay. Uh, tell me two types of FSM and uh, name them and difference between them. Mila and Mure are the two types of FSM. In case of Mila FSM, the output depends upon the input as well as the state. In case of Mure, the output depends upon only the state. Mm -hmm. And just one uh, second. Second, Ashok, you can tell. In Mila, uh, compared to Mure, states are in Mure states are high. Sir. In Mila, we use only n states. In case of Mure, it is n plus one. Mm -hmm. N plus one. You can make a diagram also. You right. Uh, and just explain with a proper explanation in the intro. One or two point is not sufficient. At least three, four point, whatever you know, just tell them. Fine. Right? So okay. next question is difference between label trigger and register circuits. Label trigger is nothing but three plus. Sir. You can make the diagram also. Let's, let's the diagram also. Okay. What do you mean by RAM and ROM? Tija, you tell me. Difference between RAM and ROM. Tell me first, yeah. If you don't know, tell me. Tell me it's okay. RAM and ROM. No, sir. I haven't revised this question, sir. Yeah. So, this cross couple. This is last. Yeah, so just close check yourself once. So this meeting will be ended in four four minutes. So you can close check it later. Uh, you know difference between RAM and ROM? No, at least full form you can tell. Yeah, this is ninth ninth class. The only so memory. Random, random access memory. It's like a temporary memory. Read only memory is permanent memory. Volatile, so, yeah. non-volatile application yes. you can tell. Then. So just check it, this question also. ROM is made up of combinational circuit. Then how it is memory? ROM is made up of combinational circuit, right? Like we have implemented this circuits also using like all those circuit, right? Okay. So cross butterfly structure is there, right? So so how it is memory, right? It is ROM is a universal universal circuit, not a memory, but behaves like a memory. It is a universal circuit, but it behaves like memory. It is not a memory. It has a combinational circuit uh, consisting of decoders and OR gate. It is called a memory because the uh, because it encodes a memory addresses and output output encoders the value at the at that stage. Right? It is not a memory. It is a circuit, but it behaves like memory. Right? So we'll just go through this question also. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by the difference between static and dynamic RAM? Static and dynamic RAM. Tell me first. Yeah, these are very simple questions, right? Uh, okay, what do you mean by transmit transmission gate? Transmission gate. Transmission. Yeah. Transmission gate. What do you mean by transmission gate? 
and one application of transmission data. It's okay if you don't know, you can buy it. Yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me. Buffer sign. Transmission gate. What do you mean by transmission gate and one application of transmission gate? I am asking. Okay, my next question is which code is called minimum change code and why? This is zero level question. Yeah, gray code, gray code, gray, gray code. Gray code and why? Because change takes place. Change takes place in only one bit in each and every stage. Uh, one bit difference. Right? Mm -hmm. What is an inhabitor circuit? What is an inhabitor circuit? Mm -hmm. One gate is there, which is called inhabitor circuit. There is, you can explain it diagram also. Inhabitor circuit. It was asked in the gate also once. Okay. Awesome. Inhabitor circuit. Inhabitor circuit. Okay, my next question is, and this is the last question, advantage of fixed point representation over floating point representation. Okay, my next question is, what do you mean by cloak screw and cloak jitter? Cloak screw and cloak jitter, what do you mean by both these terms? With respect to one clock, if there is a delay in the other clock,